Stamper's Best Cling Cushion Mounting Foam comes in 9x12 and 6x9 cut sheets. It's also available as a 9 inch by 75 foot bulk roll. The bulk roll includes a roll of liner paper so you can make your own cut sheets. This video is going to demonstrate Stamper's Best Cling Cushion from the bulk roll. It's very versatile. You can use it to make your own cut sheets and to put unmounted rubber sheets on one at a time or for production. And we're going to take a 6x9 unmounted rubber sheet of stamps and use a quilling cutter to cut it away from the bulk roll. It's very simple. The roll unwinds to expose the adhesive side, so just place your rubber sheets onto the adhesive. Take the quilting cutter and cut right along the edge of the rubber sheet. And there you have it, a 6x9 clean cushion set of stamps. This way you can easily upgrade at the checkout for your customers. They can choose to add clean cushion to any of your unmounted rubber stamps. When you take a larger sheet like this 8.5 by 11, just hold one end up until it's lined up with the roll and let it gently down onto the adhesive. Again, we're going to take the quilting cutter and remove it from the bulk roll first. And then it's very easy to clean up the small bit of excess. Again, we've now taken an unmounted rubber sheet and upgraded to clean cushion. Now Stamper's Best is a premium cushion. It's 1 8 inch thick high density foam. This is a top grade of foam mounting cushion. It works with any acrylic blocks. Here we have a smaller sheet. Again, working from the bulk roll, you just take the 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. Take the quilting cutter here and just cut to the corner of the sheet of stamps. The quilting cutter is very sharp so you can start in the middle and just finish the cut. You can just leave this excess on the roll and put it away for the next use. You can also just use the quilting cutter to straighten out the cut and remove this excess piece. If you want, you can take the little excess scrap pieces and put them on the roll for storage and use them next time. You can also take single stamps and attach them to the cling cushion. We're going to demonstrate doing several single stamps here. Again, working right direct from the bulk roll. These are various sizes. What you'll want to do is you want to create a row of stamps so that one edge is a straight line. Then you'll take your second row of stamps and line them up directly even with the first row. The adhesive is repositionable for a short period of time, but after a few minutes it's permanent. And here we've laid one in a poor position, so we reposition it very quickly. We'll remove the block of stamps from the bulk roll first. Our first cut's going to be right down the center line between the two rows. From here it's very easy to separate the individual stamps, just simply cut right in between. The quilting cutter does an excellent job with this. Plus you can trim very, very closely right along the rubber edge. So you can make very neat, clean cushioned rubber stamps. Quilting cutter allows you to even take off the smallest sliver 
so that you can produce very professional looking stamps. You want to be careful working with the sharp cutter. And there you have it, single queen cushion rubber stamps. And working with the liner paper to make your own cut sheets, this is very economical. The bulk roll allows you to buy your clean cushion for the equivalent price of $1.33 for a 9 inch by 12 inch sheet. When working with the liner paper, work with the piece of paper similar to your work area. So if you have a three or four foot cutting mat, you can work in three or four foot pieces. For this demonstration, we're just going to make one cut sheet. Liner paper is coated on one side, has a very shiny surface. This is to cover the adhesive. The cling already has the heavy liner paper on it, so we unwind and expose the adhesive. We take our piece of liner paper. Turn the shiny side down and line it up with the roll. This is repositionable all day long, so just smooth it out through the center first and then out towards the edges. Again, using the quilting cutter and an acrylic guide that you can find in any quilting department. I'm going to lay that over the liner paper. We're going to start the quilting cutter back an inch or two to get it rolling. Makes a nice smooth cut. Now this was off the bulk roll, so we're going to square up this edge. Now you can make your own cut sheets for retail sale at a very economical price. This little excess of liner paper, we actually recommend taking a small piece like this and putting on the end of the roll so when you store the roll you have a tab it just makes it very simple to start next time you go to use your cushion and here you have it stampers best clean cushion unmounted rubber stamps turn any of your unmounted rubber stamps into an upgrade for clean cushion for your customers so they can make the decision at checkout even for single stamps and you can also sell cut sheets